hello hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to learn about how you can add a additional domain controller in your existing active directory so let's get started with this video now this is my the ad server active directory server and here i have a dg server domain controller so it's my the additional domain controller so let's see the prerequisite what we need to do uh, to add as a additional domain controller so let me open this server manager here and we'll see the uh, we'll see the prerequisite here yes i open the server manager here let me click on the local and will verify the host name so here is the host name for this it's a dc work group is a unknown yeah it's fetching the information these information will update soon so meanwhile what we can check let's go to the control panel on the NIC card and validate this ip address assigned properly or not here okay so let's go to the networking ethernet and the property ipv4 so this is my the ip subnet and the default gateway and this is a preferred dns i provide this dns is uh, from my the primary ad server so if you go to the primary ad server here let me go to the this and uh, now i can do the ip config here you can see the ip addresses here and i have the dns server installed in the ad server so now i'm going to add a additional domain controller server so let's go here we are good with the ip and uh, now let's see the information it's a dc it's in the work group and uh, the ip addresses it's here so we are good all these things now let me go to the command prompt and let's ping the our ad server so ping ad so it's reachable it's resolving the name and now uh, let's ping the once.com this is what my domain so it's resolving my domain name and uh, we are good now and let's go to the tools I'm sorry um, go to the dashboard add and roll the features here and go to the next go to next go to next and here is the role so what is role we're going to add it active directory domain services so select this role here now go to the next go to the next next and go to the install and just wait for a couple of minutes now it's uh, running so installation started on the dc it's running it will take a couple of minutes to complete this process so now you seen here masses the configuration required installation succeed on the dc server so ad has installed now let's configure this now close this go here and here is a yellow button click here and this is a uh, promote the server as a domain controller now go here and we are on the screen to add a, a additional domain controller so add a domain controller to the existing domain let me go and just add this the once.com select it and now yeah it asking for the password let me give the password ok 
okay so it's having some problem with the username and password incorrect oh uh, okay so that will be the yeah, one slash atl administrator and let's give it right now now we select it okay so now you need to give if you are using the local administrator you should have to define the domain name as well now go to the next and here is a domain name uh, DNS is already selected and that site will be a default so let's put the password here go to the next and uh, go to next and here is the install media that is uh, FIM install media that's fine any domain controller let's go to next so these are like a folder structure where the uh, uh, ntds folder will create uh, ntds logs file will create and the syswall folder all will go under c drive windows folder go next and click on next so just wait for this uh, this installation to be done Okay, so now this shows all prerequisite checks passed successfully and click to install the begin installation now so let's click on the installation and now once the installation is done then our dc server will be ready so let's wait so now this installation is done and it's showing this you are about to be the sign out so let me click on the close and my console will be signing out to log in with the domain so it's restarting and let's wait for the once this machine got restarted okay so the server has rebooted and i log into the server on the dc and let's see uh this is automatically joined to the domain as well so it's not created a new domain it's joined to the existing domain let me go to the our primary ad server this is the my ad server where it is here so let's log into the, the active directory so it's getting a little bit slow so now let me go to the active directory users and the computers And now here let's go to the domain controller whether the this device is added or not so now the domain controller additional domain controller we got here that's called the dc and this is our the primary domain controller and you can see in the sites here it's showing the default sites so now we have the additional domain controller for this our active directory now let me go to uh, the sites active directory site and the services let's see what are the sites are available now here so let's go here under the default the servers we have the two sites now this is called a ad and uh, this is called a dc so another sites also has created here inside your the uh, active directory site and the servers and if you need some more testing so you can just create a your uh, any group policy and you can post it to here and then you can see the replication so if you want to do some uh, something add new the active directory domain services yes you can do it so the connection let me go here and see what are the connection okay so here what we have replicate the configuration from the selected dc replicate configuration to the selected dc okay so let's do the replication replicate configuration active directory selected replicated connection and let me do the connection from here
or you can do this uh, the services replicate from here also so now the data will replicate uh, from this side so and other sites now the thing is how we can do the testing now go to the group policy group policy management server and here what we have these are the domain the sites we have the group policy modeling okay so these are the sites but we created in the another our dc but i want to show you something uh how you can test your uh, the group policy if you are creating uh on that side from the other main ad server and in the dc it will replicate so this is the ad server let me go to the dc now and we'll see the same things in here so now go to to the active directory and see what are the things we can see here all these are things are available in the dc server or not let's validate active directory active directory user and computers it's opening it's a little slow so now i am validating all these data can see in the dc or not so let's go to the our uh, sites uh, our domain and here what i can see the computers we don't have let's check the domains so the same domain dc uh, servers are reflecting in my the dc server so data is replicating from there to here and now if you would like to check your the sites and all so let's go to the active directory sites and servers let's go to the sites and validate what are the sites we have here so we have servers and what are the servers we have the two servers and one is the ad server and one we have the dc server here so if you click on the dc server you have the option in the uh two for this replication wait let me see where it is no, no, no. yeah right click find new task just hold on i'm i'm just finding that what is that refresh it yeah so here is the two sites are showing if we need some more testing or the validation you can create a group policy there and automatically it will reflect here but to validate whether over the this uh, dc is working or not you can see in here and what are the groups we created in my the last video i shows you the groups was created here and the users were creating everything is source here so if you create any like the users here let me see if i can create any user i'm creating a test hyphen three in my the dc server and this is a test hyphen three let me click this And I want to just validate whether this uh, um, replication is working or not. So I created this uh, user inside my the Delhi Delhi location under the users. I created one more user, and I want to see whether it can same can be reflected in my the AD server. So this is a DC server. Now let's go to the AD server, and let me go to the Active Directory here. Let me go to the DC and here still it's showing only the two servers and when i refreshed it automatically it came the three so now the replication is working from one site to another site so if you create something here 
in the DC, it will replicate to another server. If you create uh, in the main AD server, it will replicate to there. So now let's see this application is perfectly working or not. One more testing. I am in the AD server and let me just right click this and delete it. So now just I delete this account. Now let me go to the DC server here and uh, we'll see once I refresh this console, this will go on. Yeah. It's gone. I am in the DC server. So my replication is perfectly working from uh, main AD server to the additional domain controller. So this is the additional domain controller what I created here. So guys, hope you understand how you can create a uh, additional domain controller. So if you like it, guys, so please like like this video and subscribe this video. Thank you so much. See you soon in my the next video.